What is happening and welcome to another Photography Talk episode. And friends, today we're going to be talking about, well, it's the it's the next chapter in that Christmas holiday gift with your photo series that we've been doing this year. And friends, I have a exciting one to share with you here today. Matter of fact, a few months ago, I hinted towards this. I forgot what I was reviewing, but I kind of spilled the beans a little bit on this photo album here. And I've wanted to do a photo album because I think this is the pinnacle, the tip of the sword of the most meaningful holiday gift that you can pass on to somebody. But not just as a gift, but as you'll find out here momentarily, this, if you're a landscape photographer, you want to create a fine art book for your, you know, for your coffee table. Man, I am absolutely impressed. So if you've thought about wanting to put it together a fine art a photo book, or if you want, as you're gonna find out what I'm personally doing with my wife here for this here, just one of those amazing, meaningful gifts to pass on to a loved one or friends, this is a video that you're gonna to want to uh, tune into. But first, look, uh, friends, as I've said many times over and over again, these videos we put together to, in this case, help you get inspired on some cool gift ideas that you can pass on to friends and family, or just simply, hey, if you're thinking about wanting to put together kind of like your portfolio of the best of the best shots inside of a fine art book, uh, yeah, this is this is this is really this video is put together for you. You're really going to dig what we have coming up here. But where I'm leaning with this is sure would appreciate hey hitting that like button, crushing the hell out of it because it helps with the whole YouTube algorithm and tells us you really dig the video itself. That said, my friends, uh, hey, it's that time. Pull up a seat in. Let's go. Now, before we get diving into all the fun action in this video here, you may be thinking, Hey, well, Alex, why haven't you done an album before? Well, you know, that's a very good question. And thank you for asking. Uh, you see, here's the fun part about this is over the years, I have at a lot of the trade shows that we go to, a lot of the photography expos that I go to, I see a lot of very good uh, photo albums, but the challenge, what stops me in my tracks is when you look at from a design standpoint, uh, you need a PhD and, you know, who knows, design, art, and all this other fun stuff to be able to put these things together. But, and that wasn't very user-friendly. If I'm going to get in front of you and make recommendations on something, yeah, a photo album can, can look like a million bucks. But again, if you need to either hire a team or somebody to design the, the, the book for you, that's, uh, yeah, no. Ideally, I was looking for something that was user friendly to be able to put together and looked like look really fantastic. The problem is the in the past I have seen photo albums that the user interface was pretty pretty decent, but the challenge side of it is the photo album then looked cheap. When the good when the photo albums looked like a million bucks, it was the other side. It, you know, it required it was such a pain in the rear end to put the thing together, or you had to hire somebody to do it. So this one right here decided to give it a go with this here uh, after playing around with their uh, and I'll at the after I talk about some of the features of this album here in a minute. But what inspired me to do this to begin with was I went through the Sal Digital app for another item that I was picking up. Part of this whole Christmas you know, gift idea thing series here. And I was impressed with how user-friendly it was. And so I decided, okay, you know, I'll give it another go and, you know, try it with their album. And boy, it turned out to be one heck of a amazing decision to do. But anyway, so what we're going to do here, and before I dive into my thoughts on the photo album, I want to set the stage by discussing its detail and specs. I mean, after all, the quality of the materials and the beautiful construction are important components of what make this one of the best, hands down, one of the best photo albums that I've seen in quite some time. And at the, after I cover some of the specs and features of this thing here, I'm going to walk you guys into their app so you can see how easy it is to put this thing together. Now, this is a handmade product that is available in a variety of different sizes. Now, I have the 16 by 20, and this is a 30 page, but you can obviously order this in uh, other sizes. Uh, landscape, as we've just shown here, uh, portrait and also square format. Now, let me pull this out here. Actually, I'll put this. There we go. Boom, boom, 
boom. Now you have this gorgeous acrylic cover. Now this is something that I opted in for. Now which is superb color depth and luminosity. Now I also added this leatherette uh, back cover and spine which is a beautiful combination with the acrylic front cover. Now the XT professional line has a luxurious uh, feel to it. The pages inside this here, the pages are extra thick, which offer a real nice uh, tactile experience as you flip through the pages of the photo book itself. Now you can choose between glossy or matte photo paper. Now I chose the gloss, uh, I just, Actually, I like the look of it. Um, and as you can see, the finish of the paper really enhances the beauty of the images. Now these books have a lay flat binding and since the book opens 180 degrees, you can see the full spread from one edge to the next page of the page without fighting pages that want to curl up. Now the album comes in a beautiful black well, in this particular case, Black Premium Gift Box. And this is a added, this is something that you, this is an option that you pick up here. This is absolutely great if you're giving this as a gift or if you're a photographer sending the album to a client. So just based on these specs, you can begin to get a feel just how well these albums are put together. But I wanna give you a deeper dive into this and give you my two cents on this particular album itself. So when this came through, again, I was, when you look at, this looks just on the case alone, extremely elegant. You open it up, you have this ribbon here that you lift up and it pulls out the album itself, or actually it raises, it raises kind of like this little trap door there. But I mean, tell me, that looks fantastic. It has a nice weight to it as well. But when I took this out, now this was, I was, man, many you know this is one of my favorite photos of Caleb as well. This was up at an orchard up in, uh, where the heck was it, no, up in Baker or up near there. Uh, anyway, they have this old kind of shed out there with these greens coming down and it made for, I thought it created this fantastic natural frame for Caleb. I think he was four years old there, so that was a couple years old. But I mean, when you flip open, Let's see if I can do this here without. Okay, here we go. I mean, the print quality, the color quality, I, I'm absolutely very, very impressed here. And then on top of that, you have the thick pages. <laughs> his uh, his first first uh, Christmas, so funny. Uh, again, even designing something like this, and this is intended for somebody else, it is such a joy just flipping through something like this. But again, from a quality standpoint, I was very, very impressed. Uh, yeah, another one of those images that, you know, I have geek dad syndrome here. So you know, I took all these photos and I have the, get those warm fuzzies every single time I go looking at these here. but. I have to say, when we're talking about creating memories and you know the feeling that you get when you're looking at photos of a loved one or this or that, this is a photo album. I mean, this is a photo album on steroids. This is evolution of a just means of keeping memories. And to be able to give a gift like this, I think is just, again, there's reasons why I left this one towards the end. This is the pinnacle. This is... Boy, this is the tip of the sword of, yeah, you get where I'm leaning with this. I know I kind of said the same thing, but anyway, they did such a amazing job. And when you, when the quality of the images, you know, the colors are deep where you almost get, you can feel like you could fall into the colors. It just, again, from a, many, you know, when I, when I judge a canvas print, when I judge a acrylic print, when I judge a metal print, uh, these mediums, I'm constantly critiquing uh, the, the the print quality, the colors, the noise. These guys really did a phenomenal job here. And I've seen plenty of albums before that you don't get that same color profile, or not the profile, but the, the print quality. Uh, again, just absolutely super, super impressive. So again, 
I'm thrilled to share with you, again, if there's one thing that you take, take away from this entire Christmas series that we've done here or gift series that we've done here, because let's not let this be just about Christmas. And one of the things that I was hinting about earlier, something like this transcends far beyond Christmas. You know, but birthdays, your own fine art photo album that shows all your best portraits, your landscape. So whatever it is that you enjoy photographing, something like this. And again, in a minute, we're going to dive into their website. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to design something like this. And best of all, the shipping was actually pretty darn fast with these guys here. And here's something that I just started thinking about or reminding myself uh, a couple videos ago, I mentioned that a photo like this, this is going to be something that is going to carry so much more weight than something that you may pay 10 times for or more off of Amazon or you know, your favorite boutique store or, you know, whatever the case may be, because this is, these are memories. This is something a lot more meaningful. Um, and you know, as I'm handling this, I'm reminded of just how, I mean, this thing has some serious weight to it. I mean, let I me mean, go figure. You have that acrylic cover on there. You have these thick, meaty pages in here that are just absolutely, oh, I love the smell of fresh print. But anyway, they did a phenomenal job on this thing. All right, before I go closing out this video, let me share with you or show you briefly just how easy it is to design one of these photo books here. So uh, here we're in the Cell Digital, uh, the software app that they have. Uh, we're gonna jump into photo books. And now we're going to go down you'll see you have all sorts of different options and a variety of different flavors and looks and this and that. Well, not quite flavors, but you get where I'm leading with this. You have a lot of options here. So let's go with the Professional Line Photo Books XT. This is the one that I have here. Uh, let's jump over to the 16 by 12. So again, you can see these different sizes that I was mentioning earlier, the 8 by 8, the 8 by 12, 12 by 8, 12 by 12, and of course the 16 by 12. We're going to click on this. So over on the right hand side, you have a number of options here. You have the acrylic in terms of the cover. You can go with the acrylic plus the leather, or you can opt out of it and save yourself 15 bucks. But I'm going to recommend definitely go with the acrylic uh, and leather. It looks fantastic. Uh, so and at any point, you can see as far as where your current uh, uh, rate is. Now, this is the second part right here, the gift box. That's what I have there, the leather at black. So they charge. You can go with any of these here, and they're going to charge is the same amount, it's like 75 bucks. I went with the leather at black. I think that looks fantastic. Uh, the natural linen could look pretty cool as well. But for me, I thought the, the black leatherette was just really, uh, really where it was at. Uh, you have the ability to change uh, the, the paper inside of it from uh, matte photo uh, to portrait silk photo paper. Um, I stuck with the glossy photo paper. All right, so now let's go into the design side of this here. We're gonna hit the design button. So you have three options. You can go with a, you have easy template, you have the comfort uh, designer, and then you have the one minute photo book. Now the one minute photo book, um, now I've not gone through there, but I'm guessing you basically point to the photos that you want and the software is just going to run with it and they're going to compile the photos in there kind of randomly as the, the software sees fit. Now, I went with the comfort design. You know, it was recommended plus for very good reasons. With this particular album, I wanted to have kind of a... Uh, sequential or the start off with photos in the opening of when our son was young all the way leading up to when he was older in the back end of the folder uh, in the book rather so I want the comfort designer so let's go through here we're gonna hit the let's go and this is you have some options here I went with no margins because I, I for me I like no margins uh, and then you have different page lengths that you can go with here. Now, I knew um, I was going to go with uh, a little bit more, so I went with 30 pages, so you can see that. But you can see you can go with 28, 46, and either way, you can select the number of pages. Hit the select button, and boom, here we are. Now, over on the right-hand side, you have some kind of layout options that you can go with. Um, first, let's find, let's find that... Book. Boom. Okay. 
All right, so now we're gonna select the photo. Uh, and again, I've already designed this, but I'm just gonna kind of play show and tell a little bit here. So here is the shot that I used for it. And you can see, now you have, this is really intuitively laid out. And as you start adjusting, you might notice here, it's gonna show, uh, based on the image that you have there, the level of quality, how it's going to turn out. And I'm going to, I'm gonna pull this over here. And what I wanna do, here we go, get into, Boom, okay, so we can see this is now gonna cover the complete front of the book. I'm just gonna pull this up a little bit. Oh no, that's right, that's where his feet were. Okay, so cool, I'm happy with that positioning there. I'm gonna to go to page one. Uh, and so this is, I'm just gonna kind of throw these things in here and just show you how quick and easy it is to set these things in here. Oops. And you can see, you can adjust these things as you, okay, I'm gonna put that one there. I'm gonna plop that there. And over on the right-hand side, I'm gonna send it to back, so that's gonna jump behind that shot. Uh, and let's take this one and put that right here. Okay, I'm gonna reduce the size of this here. I get that to match size. Let's go here. Let's move this one up here. Boom. We need to extend this one down just to get that. We're going to move that one to the back now. Okay, so again, you can see how easy that is to frame up. Now let's take this one and we're going to put this as the complete photo on this other side. Get that nice and centered. We see that there. We're gonna push that to the back. Boom, here we go. So you can see there's page uh, one and two, quick, and it's actually quite a bit of fun setting this up. So here again, we're gonna take this, and after this, I'll show you, I'll show you something that's pretty cool with this as well. Okay, there's that one. Let's take the coconut one. We'll plop that right here. And this one, I'm intentionally running this photo through the center of the page. Actually, let's do this here. So let's run this one over here. Let's increase the size of this. Move that up, center that back in there. Boom, and let's go with hot mess. I think I'm going to officially call this photo hot mess. Boom, again. You get all the details and uh, some additional edits that you can do with that. Well, I'm sorry, right above each photo itself. But there we go. So again, page three through four, you can see just how easy it is to set this up. Let's go to page five. Okay, so I wanna share with you here. So these are all these little templates that you have access to. So like what I just did right there, uh, you have templates that will do all that work for you. So let's take something like this one. Okay. Now this has the border around it, which technically I really didn't want. So, but now it's a matter of just copying. Uh, let me boom, boom. Oops. But as you can see here, what it's doing is it's taking those images and doing all the work for you. So within seconds, now, granted, this one right here, I didn't think about the uh, the the, uh, the orientation of it there. This would have been better for a portrait slot. But as you can see, you can select one of the themes that they have or one of the, or one of the templates they have, and it's just a matter of grabbing the photos and dropping them in there. It's very, very quick. But anyways, so this is as simple as it is, guys. So I went through 30 pages of this, just going through and selecting the photos that I wanted in the order that I wanted. And yeah, it was super easy and turned out fantastic. At any rate, friends, that is it for this review in inspirational, uh, 
clip here for you. Now that I've introduced you to Sales Digital Amazing Photo Album, let's switch gears a little bit here and talk about our current giveaway that we have currently going on right now. We have three excellent prizes, starting off with the Vanguard Veo 265 Travel Tripod. We have the 16 by 20 canvas uh, print from canvasprints.com, and of course the $100 Amazon gift card. Now, as always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, well, first of all, you gotta like this video, and you need to subscribe to the channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So by all means, get watching some of our other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you happen to have registered on the site during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win, but as I keep saying over and over again, swing and buy, say hello, friend. We would love to see you. And that is it for complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk or hell, how to say hello in the forum. Check out the description below and Actually, one last little thing before I go jumping off here. If you enjoy this sort of video, uh, this sort of content, be sure to head over to Photography Talk, sign up for an account. It's, well, it's free to do so, and it gives you access to literally thousands of related photography topics on the site, including news articles about camera gear, photography tutorials, and much, much more. So yeah, take a moment, sign up for an account, and get access to material that will help you take your best shot. And that is officially it for me today. This was, you know, I always say, but, but you know, I say it for a good reason. I really do enjoy getting in front of you folks and get these sharing things like this. But it's that time of the video where I'm going to ask you to do all that YouTube stuff because I really appreciate it. And hell, as we mentioned earlier, it really does help with the whole YouTube algorithm. So if you haven't already, please consider hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button, make sure you hit uh, all notifications. So therefore, every single time that we come out with a video, just like the one that you just watched here, well, YouTube's going to send you a little notification to let you know that it's ready for you to view. But friends, that is all that I have here for you today. So I hope I was able to deliver some inspiration to you. And uh, with that said, hey, you get out there, stay healthy, and take your best shot.